right, folks, welcome to the Dirty 30 50K edition of the vlog. This is a 32 mile race uh, with 7,200 feet of vertical gain and loss. So it's a hilly course, very hilly. I believe we're starting, hmm, I think we're starting right at about 8,000 feet, maybe a little under, but, uh, and I think we're gonna top out around 9,000 or 9,500 feet at the highest point. I'm just remember going off memory, I don't know that officially, but uh, it's gonna be a doozy, very competitive field today. I, uh, very competitive, top dog, top dog runners, that is for sure. So it's gonna be interesting. Um, I'm just gonna go chill, watch my footing, oh, be no. careful with my feet. Uh, it's very rocky. This is the this is the Rocky Mountains, so we gotta be uh, we gotta be vigilant of our footing. No more ankle injuries, if you know what I mean. So I'm driving to the shuttle area. They're gonna pick me up, take me to the start line, and then uh, the gun goes off at eight o'clock. So I think I've got enough time. Here, that's about it. <laughs> what up? Joseph Barton, Steve O made it. Um, so get set. Behind the scenes crewing for Seth, the dirty 30. Trying to get to the spot where we can get him some water and some gel. Let's cheer him on. But getting pretty hot out here. Crewing ain't easy. We almost, uh, we had to surf in on a shuttle. Yeah. And almost tipped it, but shuttles, did a little hitchhiking. We're here. All for Seth. Woo! Woo! Steve, you want to uh, tell me what's going on over here? Yeah, well, uh, here at the uh, number one crew, uh, <laughs> we uh, take the shirt off our back to make sure our racer is fit and prime to cool off on a nice hot day like this. So just waiting about five minutes out, we're guessing. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Literally, the shirt off his back. <laughs> That's how much Steve cares. We're here at a little babbling brook. <laughs> okay, so a quick update from the support crew. Seth is in third, but less than two miles to go. And number four is really close. Yeah. So we're gonna. He's. <laughs> it's tough. It's getting hot out here. There's no clouds. So, <laughs> woo! That was my hat. <laughs> but it's hanging tough. Two more miles. Oh man. Seth, let's see some cowbell. We need more cowbell. Woo. Yeah, yeah. Really loud. <laughs> Soon you'll be wearing gold diapers. <laughs> we don't want to
Okay, bud? Alright, All right, put your hands together for him. Alright. Good job, guys. at the finish line or taking the band-aid off. <sighs> Not gonna set up the studio with a nice lighting out in the shed. A little too tired for that. Just gonna dive right in, give you a brief overview of what happened in today's race. <laughs> First of all, thank you Joseph and Steve for crewing. It was amazing. You crushed it. You helped so much. Uh, I don't know where I would have finished if, it, if you guys wouldn't have been out there giving me nutrition, cheering me on, giving me intel. Crushed it. Crushed it. All right. So basically, um, let's fast forward. So the gun goes off. I'm chilling for the first 12 miles. It's a 32 mile race. Yeah, I'm chilling the first 12 miles, feeling real good. And then I crush this uphill section, cruising down to aid station number three, which is mile 17. And Joseph whispers to me, third place does not look so good. Not looking so good. And so that's good information for me to have. So I'm like, okay, let's go, at, let's go get them. So I move up from fourth place to third place. And then eventually, into second place uh, at about mile 22 and usually in an ultra race this is my this has been my weakness is I will basically start to fade or really go to the hurt locker uh, at mile 22 but today I did not go to the hurt locker until about mile 28 so I made it like six more miles which means the training is paying off, the dedication to the uphill work, the dedication to the weightlifting. It's like it's, it, I'm moving in the right direction. This race went so well, so much better than Lake Sonoma. And uh, so with two miles to go, you know, I know that there's runners behind me. And at that point at like mile 28, so I've got four miles to go, I'm really starting to hurt on the uphills. I just, and so that's something to work on for the next race and I just didn't have it on the uphills. And I knew that. 
So I let uh, the guy go by me, and so now I'm back into fourth place. And basically, the top three runners get prize money, so that was on my mind. And so with like a mile and a half to go, he passes me, and then with a mile to go, I'm like telling myself, I did not just run 31 miles in pain. Oh, by the way, I rolled my ankle at mile 16. Pretty darn bad. Almost, I almost had to stop and quit the race. But I knew if I stopped, it would swell up really quickly, and so I just kept running. And then I went, so, that's a whole nother story. But I did, I rolled that, I'll show it to you. It's not, it's looking a little, little rough. But basically, with a mile to go, it's pretty much all downhill into the finish, and I'm booking it, and I'm booking it. And I catch the guy, He and he had put like 20 seconds on me, and so I'm just like catching him, and catching him, and catching him. And then we like, probably 400 meters to go, I catch him, and he hears me, and so, but I couldn't pass him because it was a single track trail, so it was like, you know, this wide, so there was nowhere to go around him. So I had to wait, which is what you saw on the camera, I had to wait until we hit the dirt road, and let's just say, like, let's just make a little more space next time, whoever set up the cones at the end of the, at the finish line, like, listen, it's an ultra race, but you might have a sprint to the finish, and that's what happened today. So, I was in fourth place, caught the guy, and we're going, we're going, and basically that little sign thing, if you go back and rewatch it, it kind of jutted out, and it basically cut me off. And then there was a dip, and then, then there was a crash, and the road rash. So, I got up, thank you, uh, I got up, I got up, thank you to the folks that, you know, cheered me on through the finish as I walked across the finish. It was fun. It was fun. It was crazy. It was hard. A little painful. And I'm going to stop there. That was the Dirty 30. Next race is in July. So, whew, I'm glad you got to see some epic racing. Like, that's that's the epicness of this sport. Is like, ah, just going for it. Rah! Seek beauty. Work hard. Love each other. See you tomorrow.